Hi, my name is Brian from My Sales Dialer, and I'm here to present our Android application, which can boost productivity for your organization, especially in terms of mobile-based business development activity or mobile-based calling activity, for various reasons. So this presentation is basically intended to give an overview of the product. As you can see from this screen, it has different icons, like My Contacts, where you've got some standard contacts, basically as well as custom contacts, and you've got My Custom Contacts, which you can create based on conditions. From the grand list, you can also do Add Contact, which is manually adding the contacts. You can import address book, and as you can see, the import address book icon, and this will import all the data from your Android phone book. Export feature exports the data, then processes the data into a CSV file. You can import a CSV file, and it's a very powerful feature where you can import all external data into the system. We have message templates where you can create templates of SMS and email while doing the call in. You can send SMS or email based on the templates. Then we have reminders where let's say after the call you want to set a reminder to call this person. So you have some handy features for reminders as well. So let's go to my contacts and you can see here you have all contacts which is the grand list of all the contacts in the system. My client is a folder or a view of only clients out of your grand list. And the same thing goes for my leads. If you specify any contact to be your lead, then it'll be in your leads. And you'll see the same thing in my prospects. But all the contacts are shown in all contacts. You can always create a custom list by clicking here. And you can specify the name of the list and specify whatever condition you want. And then you can specify the operator equals, not equals, starts with, ends with, all of that. And you can specify the value and save custom list. And then you can do manage custom list. Just delete if you have saved custom list here and you can just delete. So here are the custom list based on what was done earlier. I've created a few and you can see the custom list basically based on some condition like the office number starting with the number 5 or like AA is a custom list based on contacts start with the letter A. Like AA is a custom list, which all contacts start with the letter A. All right, add contact is simple. It's a manual addition of the contacts. You can manually add this and add new contacts. Import address book, as I mentioned earlier, is a mechanism to import data from your Android phone book. Export feature is a function where you can just export the contacts into a CSV file and it will save all the data onto your SD card. And import CSV is a feature where you can choose a file and map that file to basically standard fields that we've got. So you map it to basically the standard fields that we've got and once you've mapped the file you click on import CSV data button and all the data basically gets imported. It's very important to do the mapping correctly so that all your data of course goes to the proper field. You've got message templates where you can create and manage email and SMS templates. You can create new email templates and personalize it by first name and last name and things of that nature. You can do the same thing for SMS template. You can personalize it with this very handy feature. It could be used well after the call is done. You can send a nice SMS and email. 
Reminder is another feature where you can set up a reminder for any contact. So for example, I go here and I speak to this person and I set up a reminder for let's say February 25th. And okay, so when I come back here, I'll see that reminder. And this can be done, the whole thing can be done during the call-in, during the outbound call. We'll see how that works in just a moment. All right, so now you've got the basic idea of the app. Let's get into the action and see how the dialer works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically look at one of the custom contacts. I've got this one and I'll try to basically do a call. So when I do that, I've got a few different modes here. One is a sweep, sweep start resume mode. One is sweep from checked. The other two modes are exploring start resume and, and explore from checked. The last two buttons are reset calling history on, and help on the dialer mode. So, all right. Let me explain what I mean. You, ha you do have the help there and you can read about it, but the sweep start mode is a quick calling mode where the dialer calls once. Once it starts one contact, it calls another after the other. So it's a permission based and you have full control of the call. It's for a quick call where you do not want to process the data once you've spoken to the person. You just want to call the next person. Example could be you want to invite 100 guests within a three hour time period you have to call 100 people and just tell them to come to a party. So this could be a great handy app to do that. So let's see sweep start resume and click on it. It calls the first person and then it goes to the second one and say, okay, next person, Marbury Douglas. So you want to talk to this person? Okay. Say I want to skip this guy, but I want to call this guy and you speak to this person. This is dummy data, so I don't want to call and disturb these people. So I say, okay. I want to talk to Stephen Smith. And then you call Stephen and the next person, I want to skip this person. And I want to call Al Cahill and so on and so forth. So that's how you keep on going. And once you've done, you say stop. So that's the quick sweep mode where you can quickly call as many contacts. And once you're done, you hang up and call the next one. Now let's look at the other mode, which could be very useful for business development folks or sales folks where they want to call and capture information, put the notes in to do a follow up call, set up reminder for that. You've got the explore mode. Oh, by the way, the difference between sweep, start, resume, and sweep and check, it's nothing but once one starts from wherever you had left off automatically, remembers that, and checks it automatically. From check, it automatically starts from a different location. Same goes for the check or explorer. So let's look at the explorer mode and see what it does. So when you click on Explore, you call that person and you hang up the phone after you've spoken. It goes to the detail, the contact detail of the person. Now what you want to do is, let's say, you want to set up a reminder call to call this guy on February 25th. And then let's say you want to send an SMS. So say send, uh, send SMS. And remember, we've the template the thanks template. So now you can use that thanks template and send, I'm not going to send it here, but you can also send an email and it'll pick up the templates. 
And then you can do the same. You can do the whole call disposition. You can add some other notes here. It automatically knows the last call, then you can add notes and things of that nature. So you can do the whole process in there. Once you've done, you say OK, update, and that contact, and it goes to the next one. So once you've done that, it comes again, again to basically the message saying that you want to continue calling the next person. And you say, yeah, I want to talk to the next person. So you call the next person, and you speak to the person, and you hang up the phone. After that, it goes to the next person. Again here, this person says, do not call me. So you can just say, do not call. And you say, OK, update the contact. And continue now. Al Cahill, this is the third person, say, OK, I want to probably skip this guy, but I want to call the fourth guy. And you've spoken to the person. You hang up the phone. After that, you come to the detail. And you want to set up a reminder for the 26th. And you basically, and basically you know when you last called the person, and so on and so forth. So basically you can add some notes, and you can do many things, quote SMS and email, as we've showed earlier. And then you can update the contact and we'll skip these two people. Basically, it'll keep on going. That's the explore mode, which is a very powerful mode. You can always do reset calling history and the dialer will start from the beginning instead of from the last place it was. You do have some help here as well. We think this could be a great productivity tool for you folks. And thank you for watching. For more details, visit www.mysalesdialer.com for more info. Thanks again.